welcome to Crafty Little Things. It's a lovely sunny day today, thank goodness, but it's still cold. Um, today I'm going to make another project using the retiring in colours. Um, if you've not seen my previous projects, I've done a couple, so go back and check those out. They're also on my blog. I don't put a lot of info on my blog these days, I just sort of link to the video because the video says it all. And I think most people have the capacity to watch video or the facilities to watch video. So, um, I'm using Daisy Delight. I did use it for a project right back in the early days. And this is a revisit of that project. Because I don't even know if I filmed it. I don't think I used to film then. Or I did film but I didn't put them on YouTube. I can't remember. Anyway, so it's a revisit. It's a little um, fun little bunting idea. And you use the flowers to actually... Um, hang on to but I'm um, going to be using twine. some scraps of DSP which use the retiring ink colours some scraps of cardstock which use the retiring ink colours and I've also used the Daisy Delight I didn't have any um, of the same Emerald Envy I didn't have any twine in any of the ink colours to be honest so rather than use ribbon which isn't really useful I am um, Twine just seems to hang better, as you'll see. I just use a different green. It's, you, you're hardly going to see any of it anyway. Um, but other than that, I've used very vanilla for the bases for these. And then I've found some DSP with the Dapper Denim on. And I've also found some with the Peekaboo Peach on. And I've used the other ring colours just to stamp out daisies to layer up. So you'll see um, all of this come together and how it will make some really nice bunting and what you can do is you can I've done bunting before that had recipes on it there's definitely a video of that on this channel but for this one um, you, I'm going to put little pegs on and you would just take little Polaroids or whatever at a party or an event so enough waffling on. because one thing I can't stand about videos is people waffling and I do it myself so Let's just get started. What you need is, um, I've used very vanilla, but you can use whatever you like, and these are four by two and a half pieces. And I've got six here, but you can use however many you want or however few you want. These look really nice as well, just strung up in a room, in a, in a teenager's room or a craft room or whatever. And you can put, you don't have to put photographs on them, you can put recipes, inspirational quotes, whatever. So this is two and a half, uh, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. That's your DSP that's going to go on top. Okay. So I've got um, three with the peekaboo peach and three with um, a dapper denim uh, stripy paper. I just sort of looked for something that was, you know, keeping the theme, if you like. Um, so stripes seem to be doing it for me so that's what I went with in my originals I don't think I put anything I think I just had pieces of card playing card and that was it so anyway right next thing I did was I punched out loads of flowers and there is a theme going on here every flower that goes on so three layers to each flower and everyone that goes on a peekaboo peach one has blue and one other of the retiring in colours on it. So there's blue in every one and one other of the retiring in colours. And that's just to coordinate with the blue on the others. But you can do whatever you choose. And then on the other ones, there's blue with, this is this stamp that I've used. Stamp and then punch out. Don't do it the other way around. I might insert a little video of me doing that um, earlier on. I want to give you some love. Good, good loving. I want to give you some good each one as you can see has got blue on the top or peek -a peach on the top and one of the other in other in colours there so 
that's to kind of to give it a theme and then they'll be alternated on the string like so okay and they'll look really pretty and then inside each one I'm going to put um, a multifaceted um, gem so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to take some Tombow but you can use whatever you want to do it with and I'm just going to stick all my uh, DSP sections down onto my card sections so I'll probably wish you through this bit um, because you don't need to see it for every single one so I'm just popping them carefully like so and at the same time I'm just going to put a dot of glue in the middle of each flower and I'm going to just offset the flowers into the spaces you can build these up with dimensionals if you want if you want to really get some good dimension on your flower I'm just going to knock white I want to be able to see all the colours so I'm just going to pop that like so and I stuck it to the board and now I'm just going to leave that to dry if you are worried about things sticking to other things turn it upside down or pop it on a silicon mat and then you won't have that problem right so that's what I'm just going to do for each one I'm just going to um, take you through So that's that. Um, they're done. I told you this is a really easy project. This is, and it's so pretty, and it's really good for like craft fairs and things because there'll be summer fairs and whatever coming up, and people wanting to find ways to save their prom pictures and end the school pictures and things like that. So it's a really nice little gift to give somebody. I'm going to use these multifaceted gems which just fall off all over the place so hopefully I've got enough and they'll stick so I'm going to pop one of those in the middle of each do you know what these are like glittery sweets ones except those two that you're gonna put the glue on so everything except those two and then you'd pop glue on the front of those just a little blob on each one and then you just nestle them behind, get everything nicely lined up and just glue them down. You can. The good thing about Tombow is you can still move things. So if you don't get it quite in the centre, you can move it. And then you just let those set. And then what would happen is, when it's set, you get your, when you've got your twine, and that just sits under the flower like that and it just holds the weight and it's just a really nice way of 
holding pictures um, or whatever it is you want to hold. So I'm just going to do the same thing for each of these. So I'm going to. like so and then what you do is just on your ends what I usually do is I just thread a button or you can just tie a loop um, so that you can fasten it around something Um, on the longer strings that I've, that I've done for weddings, I've, um, you know, sort of just arranged, given them plenty of string so they can arrange it however they want. But if you kind of just lay out your string and then add probably another third, you're probably going to be okay. Especially if it is to just hang on a wall because you want it to be quite uniform. There we go. And then you just pop these onto it with your pictures on. And they just hang really, really easily like, like so. I might just... And it's just really easy to pick a load up at once. Look at that. Pick them all up and then you can spread them out as you see fit and you can take them off and you can add more or you can switch them around and nothing's permanent and it's really useful. And then you can either stick, um, I've done some before where I've put a dimensional without taking the, the um, cover off or you can use little pegs. Um, really popular at craft fairs um, especially if you put it in a little gift box and if you just you can either sell it sort of you know whatever 50p a card um, or a box set or whatever however you want to do it okay so that's a lovely project and I hope you enjoyed that again that uses all of the colours um, that are retiring um, and it's used up some scraps again which is great Okay, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.